Heavenly Father, the strings of my heart are broken for my brothers and sisters who cannot muster the cry of their own. Tune my heart and theirs to heaven's angelic song. Many of your children are living in a prison world of hopelessness, not able to accept the new normal brought on by trial and tragedy. They are being crushed under the weight of their all-consuming grief. Lord Jesus, our faithful mediator, pin back the veil and lift up their despondent faces so that they can see the view that you see daily before the throne of grace. Lift them out of their pit and put a new song in their heart. Help them to hear the change in David's lament from weeping to rejoicing as he pours out his soul to God. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Oh, the desperate cry of the despondent heart begging for a moment of relief from their pain and suffering, believing their suffering is never going to end. Lord, your little lambs are tangled in a briar patch with sharp thorns pressing into every tender spot of flesh. Help them, good shepherd, to stop their wrestling, which only robs them of their strength, and give them a glimpse of the face of the one who was afflicted such as we. With that crown of thorns you wore so valiantly upon your bloody, beaten head, you bore every hateful prick and poke, every tortured rip and tear, the worst of all human afflictions. You were our punching bag, and you took the fatal blow, all so that we would never have to wear the shame and sorrow of a life hidden away from God. Your people have falsely accused you, Majesty of Heaven, saying that the Lord has forsaken me and my Lord has forgotten me. But how quickly your reply. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. But we can't seem to look at those nail-scarred hands because we are so consumed with the emptiness of our own. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Gracious High Priest, how patiently you listen as we pour out all our complaints and unload our anxiety and feelings of abandonment, believing we are all alone and that no one around us cares taking counsel from the only companions that cling to us. Their names are sorrow and pain. My thoughts greatly troubled me, and my countenance has changed. Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Holy Spirit, we need the help of your illuminating light to help us see in the dark. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him, lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. The anguished cry and murmur of the brokenhearted has now become a prayer for deliverance from death. The length of this trial has taken its toll and is robbing your child of their life. Having sunk to the bottom, they are now looking up and seeing the only one who can help. Lord, only you can save. And I will wait on the Lord, and I will hope in Him. Your word deeply rooted is now coming to the surface and brings us to our knees. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Light of the world, your ways are higher than ours, for you have used our suffering to show us the deepest, darkest night of the soul so that you can bring us into your wonderful light and give us your fullness of life, a life empty of self. How vastly different our vantage point is when we are on our knees, when we look through the lens of your word to do its sanctifying work in us and not expect our circumstances to change, to bring us our peace and joy. And now for a little while, grace has been shown from the Lord our God 
to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a peg in his holy place that our God may enlighten our eyes and give us a measure of revival in our bondage. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. What a powerful change of heart for the sad sufferer who is now a singing saint after basking in the countenance of your shining face. He shall pray to God and he will delight in him he shall see his face with joy, for he restores to man his righteousness. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, you love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Sing, O heavens, be joyful, O earth, and break out in singing, O mountains, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have mercy on his afflicted. Lord Jesus, our Savior, we give you all the glory and we praise your holy healing name. Amen.